Hello everyone and welcome back. So today I wanted to finally build the uh, Elven Gateway thingy-majig, <laughs> whatever it's called. Uh, let's see, the Portal to Alfheim is what the entry into Lexica Batania is. It's got a lot of text here that describes how it works, uh, all the different parts you need, which I believe I've already gathered, but I haven't confirmed that. And there's this really cool feature now where you can basically place a ghost of the setup into the world <laughs> using this. It's really nice. Uh, you just click visualize, then you right click somewhere, and there we go. That, that'll show exactly where I need to place all of the blocks. So I meant to do this right after I did the uh, Terra Steel creation because you need Terra Steel for it, but I never did. So let's see, we need an Elven Gateway Core, two of the Natura Pylons, which, oh, right, I was messing around with the Mana Pylons, three Glimmering Living Wood, two Mana Pools, and I guess eight Living Wood. Sounds about right. So now we just need to mimic the setup. See, I think that's the gateway core. Alright, and after I'm done with this, I, I do want to talk about a couple of changes that have been made to gems recently. It's uh, some interesting stuff. Well, uh, I suppose it's mostly bug fixes. Oh, it actually says structure complete, and does that remove the... Ghost blocks as well. Yeah, it does. Cool. Batania is a, a very, very well-made mod. I've got to say that. Okay, so now we need mana in the mana pools. Okay, well, I've got two mana spreaders. And I guess I could do one here and here. How did that happen? Well, it doesn't really matter how I end up placing them, because I'm just going to be relinking them to something else. There we go. So those should start filling up. Alright, and what do we need to do after this? To open the portal, simply right-click the core with the Wand of the Forest. The portal... Requires a substantial amount of mana deposited in both of the pools to open up. After that, it'll slowly drain some to keep itself powered. If it runs out of man mana, the connection will be broken. The amount of mana required to open the portal is orders of magnitude higher than it is to keep it maintained. Thus, closing the portal to prevent mana loss is a poor strategy. So we'll want to keep it open as long as we can. So this portal doesn't actually allow us to go through. There's no new dimension to explore or anything like that, but we can toss items through and we will get certain items in exchange. The first thing we will need to toss in is the Lexica Batania, and that will give us new knowledge of what we can do. Alright, and I guess while, the, while these pools are filling up, I can talk about what's changed with gems. I'm currently running Beta 4, which is available on Curse Forge right now. Uh, Beta 3 added the Chaos Energy system, which, yeah, I know that I still need to make textures for that junk with the new system for powering the gems. The Beta 4 build adds the Mini Pylon, which, when crafted with a Chaos Gem, gives it some passive regeneration, just one per tick, but if you want more, you can go into the config file and make it so that you can apply multiple mini pylons to one gem, although I haven't tested that. I assume it would work, though. I don't see why it wouldn't. Uh, I have fixed a pretty bad bug with the area miner tools. Let's see, do I have one on here? Uh, yeah. So... If you're not familiar with Area Miner, it basically is like a Tinker's Construct hammer. So I could, uh, is there like some stone or something I could mine? 
this will work, I suppose. So you can mine a 3x3 three three area, and previously the speeds on them were really weird. I was doing it in a dumb way, and certain pickaxes, uh, most notably Peridot, were almost useless because of their low mining speed. It was just reduced to a point where it was, you might as well have been punching the blocks. But that should now be fixed. They should all mine exactly five times slower than a pickaxe without the enchantment, which I think is reasonable considering they can mine up to nine blocks at a time. All right, so may actually want to get a little bit more mana production going just to make sure that we've got everything topped off. Okay, so can I activate this now? World Calling. Open the portal to the realm of Offheim. It looked like it did not stay open, though. Huh. Yeah. I guess I'll have to wait a bit longer before I can open it. Hmm. Is there a faster way I could transfer some mana? It doesn't seem to be working especially well. Oh, that's helping. Okay. It's much better than a simple mana spreader. Ah! <laughs> the vacuum hopper stole the tablet. Uh, go ahead and just remove that vacuum hopper. It's not needed right now anyway. Okay, I think they both got a, enough mana in them that they could sustain the portal for a little bit at least, but... Maybe I should go ahead and upgrade these mana spreaders a little bit. Uh, I need to make runes of fire. Okay, I'll wait a bit on that, so... Let's see... Try activating this again. So how bad is it to maintain this portal? I think we'll be able to sustain it for a little while. It's just that initial draw was so great that it completely drained the mana pools before. Okay, so we should be able to throw in our Lexica Batania. And that gave it to us again. Let's see, it doesn't look like the cover's any different. But it should have additional knowledge in it, and it'll say in the tooltip, two schools of knowledge. So we have elven knowledge now. Okay, so this is a message from the elves. So let's see, we've connected their, their world to ours via a portal. Shared our knowledge. And they are willing to trade resources. All right, so the resources of Alfheim. Um, let's check these mana pools again. Okay, they're actually gaining for now. So we'll be able to maintain this portal for quite a while. No need to rush too much here. All right, so we've got Dreamwood, Elementium, Pixie Dust, or Dragonstone. Okay, so Livingwood will give us Dreamwood. Okay, and we can trade two mana steel for one Elementium. All right, uh, mana pearls for Pixie Dust, and diamonds for Dragonstone. And we can also trade Nether Quartz for Elven Quartz. And Mana Glass for Elf Glass, alright. So, I don't know 
exactly what we need. I know one thing I want to do is to do the Ritual of Gaia, which I see there's a, a second Ritual of Gaia now. Huh. But we'll have to look into that. Okay, so we also need an active beacon for this, so we'll need a nether star, which I actually have three wither skulls, so I could make one. I had other plans for it, but I guess we can use it for this. Single terra steel ingot as a sacrifice. Okay, and we're going to need elementium and pixie dust. Okay, and I'll look into more details of that later. So we need Elementium and Pixie Dust. I should probably trade for some Dragonstone as well, while I can. So, don't actually know what I would need it for exactly. Ooh, Shard of Lapida. That is something that I want very much. Also need Prismarine, Gaia Spirits, uh... Can't remember how you upgrade the shard of Gaia or, or shard of Lapidon. <laughs> too much, too many words. But yeah, I will need some dragonstone for sure. How many diamonds do I have? A little over two stacks. Uh, I'll just do sixteen. Okay, and. Mana steel, I could use some more. I should have plenty of iron, so I'll just go ahead and make a whole stack. Okay, and do some pixie dust as well. What else did they want? Living wood? I have a little bit of living wood to spare. Okay, so same as what we did with the Lexica. We could just throw these into the portal. And it looks like they'll only send out one at a time. Okay. Good enough, I suppose. So I, I guess there is actually a bit of an advantage to doing the blocks of materials if you can. Let's see. How do you get the dragon stones? It mana diamonds. Okay. Oh, the mana pool actually ran out. Huh. I didn't know it was low. Maybe I just really used it that much. So my mana generation setup is not the best, I know. But it uh, gets the job done. Block of Mana Diamond. <laughs> it looks just... Well, I guess it's a little bit lighter than a normal diamond block, isn't it? Alright, so we've got 16 Dragon Stone. 32 Pixie Dust and 64 Elementium. That sounds like a pretty good place to start. And now... I guess I need to work towards killing a wither, so I can get another star. I don't really have a good bow. Are there any good modded bows? Um, actually, I do have a bow, don't I? It's probably in here. No, maybe it's in here. Yes. It has infinity and unbreaking on it. Good enough, I suppose. Okay, I'm making a good sword here. So let's put sharpness 5 on it. Anything else? Nah, I think that's the only thing I'd really need. Actually, um... Right, right, I keep forgetting, I'm trying to fight the Wither, not the Guardian of Gaia, that comes later. <laughs> the Guardian of Gaia, I think, is immune to bows.
Okay, so what else? Uh, it'd be nice if I had something to give me strength. Which, uh, could use chaos gems. Or could use file of vigor. Botanical brewery. That'd probably be a good choice. That doesn't last very long. Uh, yeah, I, I don't need extra strength for Sling of Wither. I should be well enough equipped. Supercharged Sapphire Armor, fully enchanted. A really awesome sword, a decent bow. Actually, it'd be nice if I had power on that. Let me go ahead and put power 5 on that. Wow. <laughs> it'd be easier to search for enchantment token with so many things that come up with power. Let's see, what... That's the kanji for bow, right? Okay, that also uses rubies. Okay, there we go. And I've got uh, regeneration and instant healing. Just in case. I actually don't know where I want to set this guy up. Nowhere nearby, that's for sure. Oh, all these butterflies. I need to, to get rid of those flowers <laughs> and, and put them in like a greenhouse or something so all these butterflies don't escape. I remember that's the thing I hated the most about uh, forestry tree breeding. They, they spawn all the butterflies. I wonder if you can disable the butterfly spawns. Because if you can, I think I'd want to do that or knock them down to like next to nothing. Okay, and I did not mean to take my bag of holding with me. I should probably ditch that, just in case. Okay, this one is regeneration. That was easy enough. We got another star. Also drops a division sigil for whatever that's worth. They're pretty common though. Is my field of view messed up? No. Hmm. I don't know why. It feels like everything is so narrow here. It's weird. Alright, so we got our nether star. We can craft a beacon now. Why are there two beacons? Black beamed beacon? Oh. That's interesting. I'll have to make a note of that. Alright, there we go, beacon. So we would have what we need to fight the Guardian of Gaia whenever that happens. Maybe next episode if I don't come up with some crazy ideal or something. I know that my videos haven't been quite as good lately. Just haven't really had any fantastic ideals as to what to do. It's a bit unfortunate, but that's just how it is. I can't conjure ideals up out of nowhere. And, you know, I should probably just stop using this axe, and does that really have the same attack damage? Oh, right, Onyx is better than Heliodor. I can't believe I forgot that. Huh, <laughs> well, I feel kind of stupid now. Ah, uh, well. I don't think it's a... a Big difference. Let's see, 11 attack damage, 12 attack damage. Yeah, so close enough. 
But yeah, I'll probably go ahead and just upgrade this drill so that I can use it as a as an axe as well. There we go, and just craft it with the saw. All right, it says harvest level four plus saw, which means it can mine anything that a pickaxe, a shovel, or an axe could. All right, I think that's uh, about enough for this episode. I'll need to uh, resort out my inventory here. Oh, I've got so much junk in this bag. I, I should probably get rid of some of the stuff in here. I don't need all of it. But until next time, whenever that is, maybe Wednesday if we're lucky. I, I, I don't even know where I'm going with this anymore. I'm lost. Oh, I should get my Thumbcraft armor back on. Yay, super fast again. Alright, I, I give up. That's enough. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully it was entertaining enough. And I will see you in the next one.